Uh, you were talking about uh, a ten. Uh, sorry, a warmth, and what was the other word? Uh, competence. Competence. So, uh, the question somebody might have is, how do you know if it's real warmth? And I mean, like, if you're freezing, real warmth mm. warms you up. Right? Yeah. So I'm, I could see people arguing about whether or not there's integrity or authenticity, probably. And the warm feeling. And the warmth. And I think uh, if you're questioning whether or not your warmth that you are having is authentic, that might show up as maybe you're not really feeling warm towards someone or yourself. And uh, someone who might be feeding homeless people and like for 30 years or 20 years or whatever it was you said before, might have competence to do the thing that raises the money or passes the food out or whatever. Um, and maybe even like act politely and see people but not mm. really hear them or hear people but not really see them. Yeah, it's the fine line, and there's and there's no way to really clearly draw the line, right. uh, except through experience and time over ch change over time, you start to notice the drift. The, but the fine line between being someone who loves the poor, and being someone who loves the idea of being the person that loves the poor, in front of people who don't love the poor but also have money and therefore respect you. Yeah, perhaps. well, and so the thing is, and it might not even be intentional. The thing is, we have we fetishized intentions. Everything in our society comes down to intentions because, because we've so been traumatized as a society by the bifurcation or separation from thought and action. So in other words, we, we don't connect those things anymore because of the Enlightenment project. So because of the big difference, we kind of put all the weight of, of judgment on intention because we've seen people act contrary to the way they believe, and we've seen, you know, and so it's like, well, what do they mean? And no, and to me that's not, that doesn't get at it. Like, it's about impact and intention. Um, and so with the question of homeless, it, it's very subjective. But I bet you those homeless people know, more than that guy, whether he shows love for the poor. And so you kind of enter into relationships and allow your heart to be open to being changed and having, being the sort of humble person that other people can challenge you without you freaking out and getting better at that over time and then looking back over your life. And um, this is the, the capacity for looking back and seeing your own change is hard. I and mean, this is the whole center of Ignatian spirituality, the Ignatian practices of looking back over your day, week, month, year, life, and noticing where you felt God's presence and where you didn't as a spiritual practice so that then, only then, can you begin to see how you've heard God's word and how you've changed. Is It's over the long haul. And again, our society is built in such a way that we can't, we're not encouraged to, to think long haul. Mm -hmm. We think of immediacy. And so we have a whole society that keeps us from paying attention, just to paying attention, that keeps us from transforming. And even while we think we are transforming because we've had a lot of experiences that have a lot of feelings attached. But feelings and experiences aren't changed.